Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Sarah and it's nice to meet you. I hope you enjoy this video today. I'm just going to do my nails and talk with you and spill some tea. And just make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and you hit that bell twice so that you don't miss the videos. Now these nails are from Runway and I will have a link to it in my description for you guys. And what I love about wearing nails like this is like it's just three easy steps. Some people don't have $150 to spend on a full set and I don't blame them. Like the last time I got my nails done, it was a freaking horror story. The place I went to, the people that worked there were so rude. You know, they do that thing where they charge deposits and that's kind of a red flag for me because I've been getting my nails done for years and I've never had to like pay a deposit just to get them done. But they're like, oh, it's a first time fee, you know, and after you keep coming back, you don't have to pay the deposit, which is weird. Why do I have to pay a deposit if it's my first time? I want to see how you guys do the nails. And when I got my nails done, the girl was sick and she kept coughing all over my hands. It was gross. That's sickening! And my nails came out so ugly and bumpy. And as soon as I left home, I drove home and the middle nail had came off. And I feel like I still have pictures of it in my Snapchat memories if I look. But yeah, that was terrible. Like, as soon as I walked in, they're like, why are you dressed like that? Oh my god! I thought this was a classy party. Bitch, what you say? I'm like, so no hello, no good evening, do you have an appointment, nothing like that. Why are you dressed like that? And mind you, I was wearing a black t-shirt and black jeans. Like, I'm just here to get my nails done. I'm not here for a fashion show. It was just really weird and off-putting. And the whole time, the nail tech said nothing to me. And she was talking to the other girl the whole time. And I just felt so, like, unwelcomed. And it was just awkward. And I never went back. And I highly would not recommend that shop. But you know how it is in Florida with these bitches. Before I came in, I even, like, showed her a picture of what I wanted done. She's like, oh, I can do this. She didn't do it. And... It was funny because she's always taking pictures of every set that she does and she didn't take a picture of mine because she knew that shit looked bad. And she knew she fucked up. Um, yeah, and when I left, I'm like, oh, I'm never fucking coming back here. Like, oh, no, 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 no. No weird ass bitches. I feel like as a society, people like have a knack for choosing the worst people to put on. Like... Y'all be making the worst awful people famous. Catch it. Catch it. Catch. And then like they give you a lots of examples of how they're bad and as a person. And then y'all just be like ignoring it. Oh, she's cute. She, you know, she wears good outfits. So we're just going to ignore it. Well, yes. And I think it's weird. Like, why are you surrounding yourself with so many racists when you are a black woman? Be careful with bitches like this. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, I don't have the degree in psychology to understand that shit. So I, I can't dissect it. But that's just weird. I'm like, and I'm so tired of seeing like certain people on my timeline. And every time you hit not interested, one of your mutuals posts them again. Like, why would you make music with somebody that is a raging racist? Like, who's basically known more for being racist than their own music? Ooh wee, look what that money make a bitch do. Uh, 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 uh. Child, um, you know what? I have no words. But here's what I do have words for. These fucking nails, they came out so bomb. And all you need is glue, some adhesive tags, and then maybe even a file to file your nails if you need to. But it's really just three easy steps. You put the tag on and then you pop the glue on that tag and then you pop it on your nail and then you put the nail on and press it down for at least 30 seconds and then boom you're good to go and that's why i always say it's better to be a triple threat learn how to do your makeup learn how to do your hair and learn how to do your nails and then you won't have to spend so much money getting that shit done like I would rather just do everything for myself so I don't have to wait. Oh, if somebody's late with my appointment or any issue that could come up, just learn how to do this shit yourself and you'll be good always. That's my advice to you. And um, I heard that somebody died today. Somebody, um, someone died. And I, I, I you know, I don't have any words for that. I don't. I don't. I don't have anything to say about that man, but he's dead. And I think we all know who I'm talking about. And uh, yeah. 
I saw some people pouring out orange juice on the ground. I'm like, I get it. It's funny, but you're wasting orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of orange juice, they just canceled TikTok. So TikTok is actually going to get banned. They said September 12th is the last day that TikTok will be an open app. And after that, it's gone. And I'm actually really happy about it. I'm, I'm like secretly excited because um, I've been wanting that app to die ever since they deleted my TikTok account and it had 70K. I was so, so fucking pissed. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this app. And the shit that they did to black creators, I'll never, ever forget. I can't turn away and look at that. It's hard to leave an app that every single brand wants to be on. And when you do PR for them, they want you to post TikToks. That's a requirement. That's always what happens with these um, apps that get popular. All the brands want you on there. So I'm really glad that it's it's done. It's over with. When that next app comes though, best believe I'm hopping on it first. And I'm going to keep posting and being consistent because this is some bullshit. We should be getting averaging a million views every single video on this channel. Okay? And we're not there yet. But we are going to get there. Um... We're really close to 20k too, which I'm excited about. And I want to do like a 20k live thing. I want to plan something. A lot of things I need to like work on and get ready. And I also have an EP that I want to finish. So I'm excited for that. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Hit the bell twice. And I love you so, so much. Keep safe. Thank you.